I'm at another weekend call. It's starting to get really cold and this customer's, well this tenant's pilot keeps going out. I was gonna show you where I am. This is former off base military housing outside of what was once Turner Airfield. It's no longer a military base. But yeah, these houses out here have been around probably since the 40s. The furnace in this one is nowhere near that old, but it does have a standing pilot and the pilot keeps going out. So we're fixing to go in and see what's going on. assembly and gas valve have been changed. So um I've checked the I have checked the gas outside it's turned on. Yeah, it looks like it went out. Um, I'm gonna see if I can't figure out why. Okay. Just a second, I gotta hear that again. Try to pull that thermal couple and take a look at the tilt.
sure that's a new thermocouple. Mm -hmm. Hmm. That thermocouple looks rough. There we go. Let's go get another thermal pot.
You don't ever want to cross thread these. tighten them but you want them to be snug. It's nice and snug, but it's not too tight. Got my gas turned back on.
Let's see how this does. All right, we're staying lit. on that one I tried to show how to check a thermocouple on the new one I put in I changed the first one because it was black and carterized had gook all over it and that'll keep it from working they only produce like 30 millivolts but I was trying to show how to check one you got to use your alligator clips and put one on the copper tube going into the gas valve and one on the very end of the thermocouple inside the gas valve. So you got to unscrew it, put those alligator clips on there, and you've got to switch your meter to millivolts. You gotta push down the little button for a pilot, and you gotta light the pilot. So you gotta do all this at the same time. That's why you use the alligator leads and hold it down for 30 to 60 seconds and you should be getting something like 30 millivolts. Now the new one I put in tested at 35. So if I have to revisit, I'm gonna take a closer look at that gas valve. I'm not suspecting that's a problem because it looks like it's recently been replaced. And I did a startup on this one like three months ago and this was not giving us a problem. And you know, we checked it and make sure everything was safe installed a carbon dioxide detector in the house so hopefully that takes care of the problem if you like these videos please like and subscribe thanks for watching